I'm gonna start a brand new dropshipping store from scratch. We're gonna find the products, set up the store, set up the ads, and do everything together. I wanna show you what someone who has made millions from dropshipping would do if they had to start all over. Now, here are the rules. I have five days to make as much money as possible, and I have a budget of $500. Now, if I'm profitable by the end of the five days, I'm gonna be giving away the store, and if I'm not, then I'm gonna be giving away $500 to one of you. Now, let's dive in, and the first thing that we need to do is find a winning product. Now, ever since I started drop shipping eight years ago in 2015, there has been a single product research strategy that has outperformed all others. Time and time again, this product research strategy has been responsible for finding some of my top products, but there is a problem. And the problem is that using this product research strategy consistently and how it's meant to be used is nearly impossible. So a few years back, I brought my team of developers together and we built an internal tool that is only available to us and we've been using over the years to give us an insane competitive advantage over everyone else. And here's how it worked. The number one product research method for finding winning products is finding products that are going viral right now. And I don't just mean going on TikTok and using their search feature because it's very limiting. And a lot of the times those products are already passed. You're going to be too late and hopping on that trend. And so what we developed was a tool that would go to these advertising platforms and check the stats of the ads every single hour, which is something that would be impossible for an actual human to do. And so imagine if you had access to 10 million TikTok ads, for example, and you could see how they they were growing every single hour. You could see how many new views they have every hour, how many new likes, how many more comments, what the comments are saying. And if you could do this, then you would have a huge competitive advantage because you would be able to find products that are going viral right now and be able to hop on that trend quickly. You would be able to see products that yesterday were just launched or that yesterday were not generating any sales and today, literally today, are going viral and exploding. Now, over the past 12 months, my team and I have taken this internal tool that we have been using for quite a while and created something that would allow anyone to find the most viral TikTok ads right now. Now, right now, this tool is still in beta, but since I only have five days in this challenge, I'm going to be using this tool in this video to help me find a winning product and also to help me run my Shopify store. At the end of this video, I'm going to be giving away 100 free beta licenses so that you could hop in with a special link and start using this today. Okay, so I found my first product. It's literally been like 10 minutes of going through drop scale. And I think that this is a good fit. So let's go over it. So it seems like it's a, a mini camera. So basically what I'm thinking is one, it's going to be simple for me to make advertisements with. It seems like on April 19th, it had 340,000 impressions and now it has 6 million. So this is something that is going viral right now. And I want to be able to hop in to this trend. We have an estimated ad cost of 28,000 that this person has spent and around 1,500 to 2,000 orders, let's say. We also have a link to their product right here, right? Which all of this again is inside of Dropscale. So we could use, you know, their listing as inspiration, see how much they're charging. And if I wanted to, I could even download the video right here and literally have their ad with no TikTok branding available immediately in the case that I wanted to use that. Okay, so now that I found the item that I'm going to sell, there's two things that I need to do. The first thing is, since I found this item through the ad section in Dropscale, I need to find a supplier for it. Now, since we need to find a supplier quickly so that we could test this product as fast as possible, we're going to find it on AliExpress. But we're not going to do the work of finding that supplier that's going to get us three to seven days shipping at the beginning, since this product could technically flop, right? But since we know that this is a product that is going viral right now, the chances of success are much higher. Okay, so now that I've found the product on AliExpress, which is what we're going to be using as our supplier for the orders, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Amazon, find the item on there and order a unit to my house. Hopefully it gets here by tomorrow so that I could get this product in my hands and start making advertisements as soon as possible. 
So it's day two and the product is here and I'm ready to start selling. And now I'm gonna build out the Shopify store. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use one of the theme templates inside of Dropscale. So they have a niche store theme template here and I already have my store connected to Dropscale. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my store name up here, which is Secure Life. And I'm gonna fill in a couple of different variables here and Dropscale is gonna send an entire optimized theme template over to the store with the main goal being that I could start selling as fast as possible. So I'm going to select the niche here and the niche is going to be security, this green accent color. I'm going to include reviews. I'm going to create a logo here through drop scale. Okay. So here's how the store looks. So we entered a couple of different details into drop scale and it created this entire store for us. It starts off with a heading. We have a subtitle. We have a background image. We have the logo that we chose and this is the homepage. And here we have the listing of the item that we're going to sell, which I already imported into to the store. So you see that we're going to be selling the item for $40 and we have a couple different things in here to increase the order value and get people buying more. So we have the ability for someone to include a memory card, which costs us an extra $2 and it's going to cost them an extra 15. And then I also added here another version called a round cam. And this is a much cheaper camera that we're going to be selling as well. In the case that someone wants to opt for that one, this is the one that I was able to find on Amazon and this one. I'm going to create a couple of ads with uh, myself doing the same things that were being done in the ad that was going viral. And I'm going to show you now how you could just stitch together a bunch of random clips with some nice music on TikTok and put it up as an advertisement. So I'm going to bring in the clips and I'm just going to start chopping these things up. So again, the, the thing with TikTok ads is you need things to happen like quickly. I'm just going to leave one of the clips of me just snapping it on. So boom, me just snapping it on delete that add the next one and you want to play and make sure that it's going quick so as soon as i put it that's it no dead space right now what i'll do is i'm going to go ahead and split this delete that ending and i'm going to bring in that original advertisement that we found through drop scale which is the one that was going viral and the only thing that i want from this one for now is going to be just the ending so i'll crop out the ending there which is going to be like you know them people seeing it on the phone so boom put it there as soon as i put it down i'm actually going to cut this and change the speed of this to like you know 3x so let's see it from the beginning boom snap see there it's too long like it just stopped for too long right there we need to cut it so you want these things to be quick okay you want them to be fast so i'm going to make this one i'm also going to put a variation of the one that was going viral and i'm going to post up another one i'm going to make a third one the one where i'm trying to find the camera but you get the idea i mean this is just straightforward to the point some cuts i'm going to find some song now here on tiktok that sounds good and i'll publish it Okay, so we're inside of the ad account and ready to start our first set of advertisements. Now, obviously up to this point, I connected TikTok to my Shopify store. Everything is connected and we're ready to start advertising. If you want more step-by-step -step over the shoulder, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up 100 free beta spots inside of Dropscale. Inside of Dropscale, you're gonna have access to our free plan and you're also gonna have access to an academy section where in the next week, I'm gonna be dropping a completely free TikTok drop shipping course going through absolutely everything that I didn't have time to go over in this video step by step and over the shoulder. So make sure you use the link in the bio to sign up for your free drop scale beta spot. And again, this is a hundred percent free. Okay. So let's go ahead now and set up the ads. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click the create button custom mode. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose website conversions. And basically what I'm telling TikTok is that I'm looking for people that are going to complete a specific action inside of the store. And we're going to do campaign budget optimization. So basically what this does is that I'm able to set a campaign, uh, a budget at the campaign level, and it's able to be allocated automatically by by TikTok at the ad group level based on the performance. We're going to start off at a hundred dollars a day. So for the pixel, I'm going to choose the pixel here for the event, always complete payment for the placement. I'm going to go ahead and just leave TikTok selected and we'll remove video downloading. So no one could download our videos. Now, what we do here is that we don't create new ads here. We simply choose posts from the TikTok account. Okay. So we're editing here one at a time 
and you'll see here that I put, you know, get your mini cam now while, while we hold our biggest sale of the year, 50% uh, off for the first 100 units and stuff like that. So this video right here, Since this one is promoting that product, we're gonna go ahead and choose that variant here and we're gonna copy the link at the top and that's the URL that we're gonna put here for this one. And we're gonna do the same for this other video. Now, what we're going to do next is something that we always do when we, it comes to testing these products and I'm gonna show you that here in a second once this is posted. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come to the ad group section and we're actually gonna copy this ad group uh, four more times and what that's gonna do is that it's going to mean that we're going to have one campaign, five ad groups, and each ad group is going to have the same three advertisements. So what we're going to do now is we just have to wait, hope that it gets approved. If it doesn't, I'll check in with you and show you what I do when ads get denied and how to get them approved with a 99% success rate. Other than that, I'll catch you tomorrow on day three. I've been giving you updates day by day, and let's see what we could do in this challenge. All right, guys, so it is currently 10.01 p.m. at night, and three minutes ago, I got this notification on my phone. We have our first order. If things continue how they're going right now, we're going to make a ton of money over the next three to four days. Holy shit. It has been 24 hours since we started running the advertisements. So let's go ahead and analyze this together. We're going to go inside of the campaign here. Pretty much every ad group is doing pretty good. Look at the cost per click on all of them. They're all pretty low. The CPM is pretty low on all of them. Usually we look at click through rates from one to 2%, but this is doing an average of 3.74, which is extremely extremely, extremely high. And now we're going to go to ads. So basically how these advertisements platforms work is that they're going to show the ad that people are engaging with the most. And we could see here that about 80 to 90% of the budget is all being spent on this one specific advertisement here. And so basically what I'm doing right now is we're and analyzing this data is going to allow us to you know, decide what we're gonna be doing going forward. So, so far we have $359 in sales. We have $100 in ad spend and product cost, which is the other expense is $168. We've done $91 in profit at a 25% margin. So what I'm going to do immediately is I'm gonna take this campaign here to $200 a day because this campaign is doing really good and I wanna continue feeding it. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to create a brand new campaign and I'm going to start that one at a hundred dollars a day. And then I'll check in tomorrow to give you an update as to how these new campaigns and all these changes uh, made the store react. It is currently day four and things are blowing up. Yesterday, the store ended up doing $1,100. And ten dollars. And so, how is it doing today so far? So today it's at nine hundred and ninety dollars, and we haven't even scaled yet, which is what we're going to be doing here in a couple of minutes. Today we spent two hundred and four dollars, um, two hundred and six dollars on ads. Yesterday we spent one hundred and sixty-two dollars on ads only. But I created a couple of different campaigns in a couple of a new uh, new ways. So let me share that with you. So we have the initial campaign that we made from the beginning, not targeting anyone at all. All, and we scaled that yesterday to $200 a day. Then what I did was that I made another campaign with only the top ads and I targeted interests. Now in this one, for some reason, these are literally all just copies of each other. So that was like a bug or something. Really the strategy with that campaign as well as campaign A is campaign budget. So we set the budget at the campaign level. We set this one at $50 a day and take a look at the interest that I chose in here. Again, kind of random with the interest. We just need to put stuff out there and see how it's going to be connecting. If this performed well, I'll keep spending more. If it didn't, then I'll change some stuff. Now, in terms of cost per acquisition, you need to really think about, right? This product right here, we're selling it for $40, right? And the cost is about $18. So the margin there is around $22. 
numbers. But you could see here that a lot of people are taking that memory card and that memory card is $15 more and I only paid like $2.50 for it. Another thing that I did here was that I implemented an upsell. So this is called a one click upsell. And I like to use this app called the reconvert. Basically what that does is you see this has generated an extra $85 in revenue. As soon as someone buys from the store and they complete their purchase, they get upsold another camera at a cheaper price and all they have to do is click one time and their credit card is saved and everything and they just go ahead and essentially get charged so what i'm going to do is right off the bat i'm going to bring this campaign up to 300 dollars a day and this interest campaign here look at the cost per acquisition ten dollars i'm going to bring it up to a hundred so what we're going to do on that one is let's see how much money we're spending there twenty dollars a day so we're going to move that to 40 a day on each okay so so far our ad spend over the next 24 hours is is going to be 300 100 400 so we have around 480 dollars that we're going to be spending on ads it really seems like we are going to be profitable which means that this store is going to be able to go to one of you so what you need to do to qualify to win this store is in the next 30 days we're going to be choosing one person and what you need to do is create a free account in dropscale.com okay 100 percent free account take a screenshot of the inside of the account okay in the my account section where it shows your email and send that to hello at dropscale.com now here is the key though make sure in the subject line of that email you put the title of this youtube video so we just scaled up the ads and now the next thing to do is to essentially wait i'm going to continue monitoring it i'm going to continue making small changes and tomorrow i'll check in with you again to give you an update as to exactly where we are with this store it's the last day of the challenge and could it be that things are taking a turn for the worst so here's how our numbers look like this morning so we have 185 dollars in sales so far we have spent a total of a hundred dollars on ads and our cost of product is around 85 dollars so we are essentially breaking even or even losing a little bit of money so far today but that's okay no need to be alarmed because I think that I can save this and that we could take today to over $5,000 a day in sales. And we're going to risk everything to do this. But before we get into that, let's go over how yesterday went. So yesterday the store did $1,780.09. We had cost of product $710.23. Our ads yesterday, let's go to the, the ad account here and filter for yesterday. Our ads yesterday spent $369, which puts our profit at $701 or a 39% profit margin. Yesterday, we got 32 orders. Now, something that I realized is that I've been making a big mistake when it comes to increasing the budgets. By increasing the budget in the evening, TikTok is trying to rush to spend that daily budget by the end of the day since I told it that I wanted to spend so much more. The only problem with that is that most people buy throughout the day from 9 a.m to like 7 8 p.m but by increasing the budget at 7 p.m we're essentially forcing it to to spend as much as possible sometimes too quickly which i think is leaving money on the table so what we're going to do right now even though we're losing money for the day is we're going to scale right now in the morning so the ad platform can take its time and it has the entire day to essentially display this budget to the right people that are going to be more likely to purchase as as opposed to just trying to throw it out there to spend the money which is the ultimate goal of the ad platform so here's how we're going to do it i wrote down the new campaigns that i want to start up and the new daily budget that i want to get it to so we have this campaign at 300 a day we have this one at 100 a day and we have campaign c at 80 dollars a day so right now we're at 480 dollars a day what i want to do is i want to take this to a thousand dollars a day in spend and the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go inside of this abo and I'm going to stop these two ads right here, which is going to bring my budget down to 400 a day. I'm going to start one more CBO campaign. This ABO campaign right here, I'm going to start 15 ad groups at $20 a day. And then I'm going to start another ABO campaign, which again means that the budget is set at the ad group level with four ad groups 
but they're gonna have manual bids and I'm gonna put them at $50 a day in spend with a manual bid of about 17 to $19. So I'm gonna set this up really quickly here and then I'll show you what it all looks like and what we can expect going forward. All right, so here's how our setup looks. So we have our original CBO campaign that we started all of this with at $300 a day. We have an interest campaign at 100. We have another CBO campaign, just like the original one at 100. And again, these campaigns have a lot of different ad groups that all have the same ads, right? So just in these three, we're at $500 a day. Then we have our, our ad group budget campaigns, which is where we set the budget at the ad group. And in this one, we have 11 ad groups at $20 a day. We have 220 dollars a day here in ad spend so that puts us at 720 dollars a day and then finally we have another ad group budget optimization campaign but this one has a cost cap so here i started four ad groups at 50 dollars a day with different bids so we have an extra 200 dollars a day here in ad set so all together we just scaled up from 480 dollars a day in ads all the way up to 920 dollars a day in ads it's day six it's officially the end of the challenge and i have some really bad news yesterday at 11 41 p.m i got this email your account has been suspended this is something that unfortunately happens all the time when selling on tiktok and we'll go over what you need to do when this happens but for now let's go over how much the store did in sales yesterday the store did three thousand $31.79. Let's go ahead and go to the analytics section here for the people that are skeptical. Let's refresh a refresh check on the analytics. We have $3,331. Um, all the sales pretty much came from TikTok. You see how it doesn't say the whole 3000 and it's, and that's because of an attribution issue. It doesn't recognize that everything comes from TikTok because of issues with, with ad attribution. The average order value $67, just absolutely amazing. Now let's go over what the actual profit was for this day. So the ad uh, spend for this day was $753. Let's go ahead and refresh this here. So $753 and the cost of product was $1,275, which puts our total profit for day five at $103. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking, and it's Joaquin, you had a $500 budget and you far exceeded it, but we've been reusing all of the profits of the store to continue scaling. So I've reconciled all of the final numbers for the store and the total ad spend will go lifetime here. The total ad spend was $1,317. The total revenue was $6,011, which puts our total profit on this five day challenge to $2,117. Now, remember, since this store was profitable, I'm going to be giving it away in the next 30 days to qualify. Check the bio for instructions. Now, remember products like these, they have a cycle. So this product might be working for a couple of weeks or it might be working for a couple of months. And, you know, from now to the next 30 days when this store is given away, I'm going to be trying to make as much money from this product as possible. But the ad account got banned. So what do we do next? Well, it's as simple as creating more ad accounts and continuing to run ads. Now, that's a little bit tricky. If you guys want some videos on exactly how to do that, let me know down in the comments below. But I hope this video helped you guys realize that the most important thing out of all of this is having the right information so you can make the right choices when it comes to the products that you sell. And in this case, a product that was going viral. So for now, I'm going to go open another ad account and keep selling this product. If you guys enjoyed videos like this and you want to see another from scratch drop shipping video, make sure you check this out, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.